Welcome everyone. Let's set up and activate the iPad 10th generation. So starting off, you see this white bar here. We're just gonna flick up just like this, do a little flick up, and then we are brought to the next view. It's now asking for your language. So in my case, English. And now it's gonna ask for the country or region where you are located. So if you bought from your Apple store near you, it should have this automatically selected at the top. Otherwise, you can just scroll down to find your country or region. Once this is done, we see here Quick Start. So if you want to transfer you know, your Wi-Fi passwords and some other settings to the iPad, it won't transfer the data. Then if you bring your uh, iPhone up to the iPad, there'll be a prompt which will allow you to do that. But in my case, I don't have the iPhone at hand, so I'm gonna select set up manually. And now it says here, choose a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to enter in my Wi-Fi network right now. If you do have a cellular model of the iPad 10th generation, you can insert a SIM card. And once the SIM card is inserted, you can use cellular instead of Wi-Fi. Now, for some people who are watching, just for the activation, this is the activation screen right here. You can see it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. So right now, it goes to Apple servers, sees if there is someone's old Apple ID. If you see a screen which says, you know, iPad locked to owner, and it asks you to enter in the Apple ID and password, uh, that is a login from the old owner. Contact the old owner to try and remove that login if they can't, they've even stolen the phone, A, phone, so on phone, stolen the iPad A, or B, you know, they bought the iPad off of someone else who stole it. So you wanna get that return as soon as possible because the iPad can't be used. Once your device is activated, you're gonna see the data and privacy screen. This just discusses what data is used. Uh, you kind of have to accept this, otherwise you can't use the iPad itself. We now have the touch ID. So this is on the power button itself. And if you just start tapping your finger on the button like this, don't need to move it around that much. It says slightly, but don't move around too much. You can see it's gonna register my fingerprint. Just keep on tapping. And then it says capture all of your fingerprint. And now you wanna do like fine areas. So doing the sides, moving your finger further up, etc. You want to try and get as much of your finger captured and then once that's done you can see added if you want to add another fingerprint you have the option but in my case i'm going to tap on setup later when it says setup later in settings that means if you open up settings you can turn it on or you know add another fingerprint but right now we're turning it off okay so one fingerprint and no more are added now it says create a passcode if i hide the keyboard there is the passcode options, and this will allow you to set a four digit numeric passcode. I personally prefer the four digit because I mean, it's easier to remember. It's like the pin for your bank, you know. We then have here apps and data. So if you ever created an iCloud backup, you can restore from there. If you ever created a backup on your computer with your old iPad, you can restore from there. If you want to transfer your data directly from your old iPad, you can do that there you can move data from android or you can select don't transfer apps and data if you're wondering how to do all this stuff i will have tutorials on all of it so just go onto youtube search up how to transfer data you know from the mac or from ipad to ipad temp generation or from android to ipad temp generation and uh, my tutorials should be showing up just use my guides and that will help you out but for the sake of time, I'm gonna select don't transfer apps and data. We then see the Apple ID screen here and it's asking for the Apple ID login. If you don't have an Apple ID, you see where it says forgot passcode or don't have, tap on that and then you have the option to create a free Apple ID right here. It will also give you an Apple email such as, you know, bobmarks.icloud.com, you know, robmarks.icloud.com. Uh, so you can use your own, uh, you know, email provided for free by Apple. In my case, I'm going to tap on setup later in settings. 
But keep in mind, if you don't use an Apple ID, you can't use iMessage, you can't download apps from the App Store, you can't sync your photos to iCloud, you can't use FaceTime. So you really want to add an Apple ID, but in my case, I'm gonna select set up later and don't use. It's now asking for the iOS terms and conditions. You must agree, otherwise you can't use the device. Now we see here, keep your iPad up to date. So it's just talking about how it's going to update your iPads, you know, software updates, etc. We see here the location services. So I recommend you turn this on. You may be like, all about privacy? Well, with each application, you can choose whether or not it's going to use your location or not. That's because the, uh, the operating system requires apps to ask you for permission before the access is granted. So in my case, I'm gonna turn on the location services. We then have Siri. This is the voice assistant. If I'm being brutally honest, I've used iPad since 2016. The only time I've used Siri was when I had it on, you know, like there's this command, which you can say, which is, hey Siri. And the only reason why it's activated is because of a mistake. So I don't use Siri personally. I'm gonna select set up later, which is a synonym for turn off. Screen time shows how much you use your iPad. You might as well have this on, have it on my iPad. It just shows, you know, how much we're using. So I'm gonna tap on continue. We then have analytics. I personally recommend you select don't share, but if you want to help Apple out, you know, help improve their products, you can turn that on. But reality is it just uses your battery. So I'm going to tap on don't share. You then have the appearance, light mode or dark mode. You can always change this later. So it's not like you have to select now or good. But I prefer the light mode. So I'm going to tap on continue. Then we see welcome. So let's select get started. And now we are on the home screen. You will also notice there is no home button. If I open up an app, there is this bar right here. So I'm going to have in the description a tutorial on how to navigate your iPad 10th generation with all of the gestures. And then by the end, you should, well, um, know a lot better how to use your iPad 10th generation. You know, the back button, where is that? Uh, how to go to multitasking, etc. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.